there my friends how are you doing how are you settling into this new times we're in right now I hope you're doing a-okay I'm gonna be offering some messages with support with acupressure meditations visualization stuff like that to help us through emotions and uh, that we're going through now and visualizing what we want our life to look like after this where where do we want to go how can what steps can we take now to really uh, create our our life and create the world that we want once we uh, get through this today I wanted to share a, about nutrition a lot of people have been asking me some nutrition advice and that's a great question because it is very important right now to be eating properly and these are actually things that are pretty standard in Chinese medicine um, the what I'm going to tell you um, and especially in cooler months if you're still in a colder area you definitely want to stick to this but everywhere right now I'd say if we're dealing with coronavirus we want to stick to these right now number one is avoiding cold food and cold drinks if you imagine the inside of our body is warm and if we're adding cold to our body especially in a colder environment it's it's constricting and it's uh, it's you know it's almost like a shock to the body when we're putting cold stuff in so as we're keeping ca taking care of our immune systems we want to keep our body happy and warm with warm nourishing foods so of course eating as healthy as possible with uh, um, green leafy vegetables and vegetables of all kinds fruits and so making sure those are at least room temperature so for example if i know what fruits i'm going to eat for the day i'll take them out in the morning or even the night before so that by the time i'm eating them they're at least room temperature and then warming the vegetables so that they're warm enough and um you know i i'm a smoothie gal i love having smoothies in the morning and just loading them up with all these goodies um, but smoothies are are not so great especially if you have bad digestion and especially with if they have frozen stuff in them so try to avoid those definitely i've been eating more oatmeal and warmer cereals so even cold cereal with the cold uh, milk drinks in it uh, avoid those as well so try and look at all the meals you're having and see how you can incorporate making them warmer or at least room temperature if you're eating uh, vegetables and drinks um i mostly just drink water I've been sneaking a little kombucha, which of course is cold, but now I'm really drinking at least room temperature water. And even now I'm sometimes, if I feel like, mm, is my throat sore? <laughs> I, I'm warming up the water on the stove a little bit, just to make it a little warm, not so hot that I can't drink it, but just warm enough to be able to drink it normally and have it warm. So um, definitely, tr do that start with some warm foods you want to avoid dairy also um, again that's practice in Chinese medicine if you think about Chinese culture they rarely eat dairy so avoiding yogurts milk um, cheese I love my cheese but I've been avoiding it um, as well because if you think about it it's it's phlegmy and uh, this virus creates phlegm and if we already have a lot of phlegm in our system it, it's just if you think about it things stick to phlegm and uh, the virus will just stick in there it, you know so uh, definitely cutting out those things as well and uh, processed foods avoiding processed foods I know it's hard now because we're stocking up on things and in, in boxes and cans um, but trying to get as much fresh stuff as you can I um, loved a tip from a, a woman I follow water through skin she's amazing go follow her I'll post her link below but she suggested chopping up your vegetables and fruits storing them in the freezer so that you have your supply for however many weeks you're staying home and when you need them you take them out thaw them out and cook them up and so I thought that was a great tip uh, for people who are really wanting to keep with their fresh vegetables and fruits and there was a one more tip <laughs> definitely clean water um, I'm going to be sharing shortly about um, a filter that you can order online to have to directly delivered to you um, and oh avoiding sweets yes 
So if you're like a sweet person, you know, candy, cakes, all that kind of stuff, definitely avoid those. Those are those also cause cause damp dampness in the body, which can lead to phlegm. Um, so avoiding sweets. I I'm. I basically my sweets are fruits. I sometimes just have like a chunk of dark chocolate, like one of the squares from a chocolate bar of dark chocolate after I eat, just to satisfy that sweet craving. So trying definitely not to load up on sweets. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for now on the nutrition advice. If you have any questions or any other suggestions, I'm happy to hear and put them in the comments below. And again. Um, let me know how I can support you. I'm going to be, as I said, doing acupressure videos, meditations, visualizations. Tell me, you know, what symptoms you may be having while you're home and maybe not able to get treated right now, whether it's emotional or physical in the body, um, digestive, uh, anything. Uh, let me know and I will be sharing acupressure videos based on what you're telling me is going on with you and starting to share some meditations and visualizations we can do together to support us all. And I'll have this in my stories as well. So I'll have a little uh, questionnaire in there where you can answer as well there or in the comments below. I hope you're taking care, staying safe and um, happy Friday. <laughs> it is Friday, right? It's hard to know what day it is these days, right? So. Yeah, have a great day and uh, get some rest. Remember to get your sleep as well. I know some nights we have our insomnia, especially now. I found that I've been sleeping more or yeah, having a hard time getting up. But uh, once I'm up, I've been going, going, going. And again, I'm doing virtual health co coaching sessions now. So let me know what you need and I'm here to support you. Have a great day. Ciao. <laughs>